Hey there, Jack here from Modern Work Training and Consulting based in Melbourne, Australia. So, in episode 99, let's discuss some automations and use cases of Microsoft Planner. Yes, it is pretty straightforward uh, when it comes to project management or event management and you know, it's a team, you create a, ta you create a plan uh, and then you just put some tasks in there and then just use it, right? So that's pretty straightforward, which is good. But actually, let's discuss about certain, uh, you know, use cases that you may not actually thought through. For example, let's say you could use it in your marketing uh, department for, let's say, um, you know, as a content calendar. You have you create blog posts. You, for example, in my case, I create a lot of vlogs. You know, so as part of that vlogging, uh, I, I do actually use Microsoft Planner to plan my content. I create all the tasks, uh, all the ideas for the vlogs in, in in Microsoft Planner, and put them into the relevant buckets and so on. So I'll I'll actually jump onto the computer and actually show you how I use it in this uh, uh, in in the next episode. But in this in this episode, let's talk about different use cases. So content calendars for, for marketing departments, then you could actually use it for uh, within the marketing department. Let's say you actually launch a campaign and you get people to subscribe or you see you, you, you create a survey, right? And you get people, your customers to fill, it, fill, it, fill in the survey details. Based on the survey uh, responses, you could actually create uh, tasks within within your planner and, and assign it to your marketing department, you know, your marketing uh, employees within your organization to follow up on those and and there's many use cases so let's actually jump onto the Microsoft flow and have a quick look at the planner templates that are available for you to start using them uh, and, and then create these use cases that we just spoke about so here we are on uh, Microsoft flow and I've just done a quick search for planner to see what templates that are available within the planner right here you can actually see that you know Microsoft and the Microsoft flow community has actually created a lot of uh, existing templates for us the purpose of, the reason why I wanted to show you this is is there are you know if you're new to Microsoft flow or planner don't you know I don't want you to you know uh, hesitate to use this uh, or, you know, create some automations using Microsoft Planner and Flow. So starting, just use the existing templates and see how they actually fit in with your business workflow. For example, we just discussed on how you could actually use Microsoft Planner as a, um, you know, with, with it for, to, to support your campaign, marketing campaigns. Here you have a, plan, a template called Create a Task in Planner from Microsoft Forms, all right? So Microsoft Forms, you can actually publish this to uh, the public users, uh, you know, anonymous users on the on the internet, and when they fill in the form, you know, automatically it creates a task for you within the planner, which is good, isn't it? Um, also, let's look at a few others. Uh, here you can actually see there's already an existing template which gives you uh, create a a daily summary of planner tasks by bucket. Okay, this could be daily or a weekly. So based on the planner, a project manager can create a, a summarized view of all the tasks, all the progress uh, of the tasks and, and then get an email. So, uh, and then probably you can also send it to Microsoft Teams as well. So there are, there are you know, using these templates, there are opportunities for us to do some automations and improve our productivity as well. So there's also a few others, for example, See how, how you can actually create a task to review new documents in SharePoint. Say, for example, in SharePoint document library, you have a, uh, you're working on a bid and, and, and people are actually uploading files into, say, ready for submission or re ready for review folder. Once they reach that folder, you can actually create a, a, a task within Planner and assign it to the concerned people as well. So this supports your bid management or even for that matter for project management or any 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 other activity that are revolves around approving approving documents or you could use a similar thing for say you know policies and procedures okay if a policy and a procedure is due uh, you could actually create uh, a, a task within Microsoft planner and assign it to uh, to the, to concerned uh, user within your organization see where, where I'm going with this so looking at 
what one thing I wanted to do from now is uh, if, if, if after watching this video is just go and go to Microsoft Flow uh, within logging in using your Office 365 account and check out all the planner templates that are available and start creating those use cases and start creating those automations and see how uh, you could actually get the benefit of using Microsoft Planner and Flow in your business. So there you have it. So we just had a quick discussion around uh, different use cases and automations that are available for you to start using Microsoft Planner within your business uh, right now. So don't hesitate. And if you need any help, if you're based in Australia and if you need any help with uh, setting up Microsoft Planner or Microsoft Flow for, you know, to, to get some automations and improve your productivity, please do reach out to me on modernwork.cloud and we can, uh, I'm happy, more, more than happy to help you out. Cheers.